Hello, this is PSKV coming to you in the comfort of your home. Oh, yes, in the comfort of your home. So let me get started. This is a high blessing that I have just received a gift. That's right, a kitchen aid. You know how I love doing all that cooking? A kitchen aid pot set. It's not no any old kind of pot set, girl. Let me tell you, it's top of the line. It's a kitchen aid, and the value price goes for one thousand six hundred and ninety nine dollars. That's right, going into the total of seventeen hundred. That's right, and I tell you, it is a powerful blessing that I have received this kitchen aid cooking set. I've been looking for some good, good pots, and you know how I love my good pots, my Martha Stewart, my Lee cassette, and all of that good stuff. Because when you're cooking, you want to cook right. And you want your food to come out evenly. So that's right. I have a kitchen aid stove and I wanted me some kitchen aid pots. And I wanted the top of the line. So these pots, that's right, has been a very blessing to me. The rest, right, the value price. So even at the store, it was a $1,000. And I got a blessing that I tell you, even it broke down to a thousand and went down to a blessing of 500 and that's when a surprise came in what I called out in the law of attraction it came right to me and I'm telling you I'm enjoying this pot set so you will see it mm -hmm. when I put it on that stove and I'll be cooking and I'll be showing you some of my recipes mm -hmm. but all for you to keep up with me you got to hit that subscribe button that's right hit that subscribe button and that notification button because you don't know when PSKV is going to be surprising you what she got in another box. Box surprises, box surprises. So you know how I love laughing and keeping it real and having all that fun, girl. What is the law of attraction? The law of attraction is meaning that when you decide in your heart, your mind and your soul. And that means all three have to be connected with that universal power. Believing that God Almighty will give you and he's seeing you and you are part of the universal power. So when you come into the law of attraction, the law of attraction carry two parts. One part is the law of positivity. The other part is the part of negativity. But both parts is still the universal power of the almighty God who controls all things. So whatever you put into the amphitheater, into the universal system of operation, that means you depositing the positivity. And that positivity is going to flow right back. It's going to come back just like. A returning cycle. The same thing what you do if you put negativity into that power, you're gonna receive negative currents to come back to you. So the law of attraction means that when you believe in God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and you believe in his universal power, that means when you ask him for something, you cannot be doubting. You cannot have a wavery spirit. You cannot be thinking, well, maybe I'll get it. Maybe. Then that means that you are on the negative side. You're not believing in the positive. That everything that you have power within you is God living in you. And that means that when God is living in you there's nothing that no man can stop you from receiving only you are stopping yourself from receiving because you are lacking due to your faith but once your faith is intact and you deposit positivity inside of the law of attraction. That means you're going to get the positivity back. And it's going to flow. And it's going to flow and flow and flow. So everything that you call out, it's going to come forth. Everything that you do in a positive order, that dealing with righteousness, helping people, and showing that the love of people, when you least expect it, 
that blessing going to come back to you. So that means if you was kind and you was helping people and you was giving and you was sharing, that means when the need that you need to the depths will come in and next thing you know, it will manifest immediately into your life because you have already deposit positivity in. But if you have done negative and you have done things evil and you have done things that is disgusting, that that is totally out of order in the Doshike. When I said in the Doshike, meaning in the law of attraction is God Almighty, the Holy Spirit. And that means that if you have done anything that is wicked, it will come back to you. It will come back to you. It will come back to you. So that means that it'll come back when you least expect it. The same way the positivity come back to you when you least expect it. That was Exactly how negativity will come. It will come back when you least expect it. So when you are living a positive life. And you believe in, in the law of attraction. When you put it into the amphitheater. It's going to come back. So just like I was saying. And I'm full of joy. Because that means you having the joy that you see in the God Almighty. Yahweh is what? The Holy Spirit is what? It is bringing the blessing into full manifestation. So now when you asking, it's going to come forth. So I'm going to show you an example. I said that I wanted a stove. And I put it into the law of attraction. And next thing I know, I got two phone calls. And they and it, here come the stove. And it was two of them that said, I want to get it. I want to get it. And for the glory of Hashem. But the stove came forth because it was in the law of attraction. So the law of attraction would even bring it in double, triple, seven times even higher. It will come in multiple orders. Because you know why? Because your faith decree is so strong that it will come multiple that you will be able to have enough to share with others. It will come enough that you will have enough to share with others. So that's why I repeat that again for you. So that means when you put it in the positive end, that's why you got some people that they sitting with their garage. They can have three cars, four cars because it came in with double. It came in with triple. And not because it's just there for that individual, but also to share. The law of attraction want us to share. It wants us to share the bounty that is being released. And the more you share the bounty, the more it's going to come back to you. The more you're going to be able to see the bounty return even greater and greater. But when you carry the law of attraction in you, believe me, negativity is right there. Right there pulling and wanting you to be selfish. That's the, 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 the demonic side. Wanting you to be selfish because it don't want you to what? To bring in more increase to be able to share with others to join into the force of believing that God Almighty Yahweh, El Shaddai, is the law of attraction. He is the divine power. And whatever we ask for, he will give it to us. Whatever we seek, we shall find. Whatever the door that will shake it, we knocking on with truth and spirit of the divine order. Hallelujah, miracles going to happen. All we got to do is believe it. They have to shake it the Messiah. Next thing I know, I had a call come in and say, I, I, I'm getting this for you. I'm getting this for you. I got the call on Saturday and, 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 and for the glory of Hashem. And next thing said that I want to get this for you. Sunday came in and the blessing came in so powerful. They said, I'm getting this here for you. I'm getting this pot set. I want to give you this pot set. And that pot set cost $500. And I said, yes, if this is what God giving you to deposit, th th that you believe in it and you believe it to the depths of your soul. Yes, you can get this for me if this is what you want to do. And if you deposit this into the law of attraction, it will come forth. Next thing I know, they call me and say, wait a minute, hold up. Somebody else gave me the money that I could be able to get it. Somebody else gave me the money that I can get what I want. So when they exercised the law of attraction, it turned around. They didn't even have to use their own money. Did somebody else deposit into them because that's what the law of attraction would do. In the blessing of Yeshua, Yahshua Mashiach. Some don't understand it. Some don't understand it. 
I remember as being a little girl and I would sit down and 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 and, and the second and third grade, fourth, fifth grade, and I would just sit down and constantly, even as I got older, draw the same picture over and over again. And the picture that I was drawing was a house. I kept drawing the same old house over and over again. And when I got a house, it was the same house that I kept drawing. That's the law of attraction. So even as a child, I kept on the depositing into the universe. And the universe turned around and brought it right into me. And then next thing I know, it was manifested. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Even as a child, I remember going to one of my friend's um, house. And we went and everybody was going in. And we was just little. We was just children and within about nine years of age and I turned around and I said uh, um, we all said we wanted some water and they turned around come on into the house and they had a refrigerator that had the ice maker and the water yes put the cup in and, and the water and the ice would go in now I'm just a child my mother didn't have this kind of refrigerator my grandparents didn't have this kind of refrigerator nobody I had in my circle had that kind of refrigerator but my friend mother they had this refrigerator so immediately as a child I said I'm gonna have me this kind of refrigerator when I become an adult next thing I know when I became an adult that refrigerator came to me and I remember the exact words of the law of attraction next thing I know I had two refrigerators in one in one kitchen because I it, it became double for me so the next thing I know, a new refrigerator came in. I needed another refrigerator. And the refrigerator came in. And that refrigerator cost $5,000. And the Lord turned around and poured it right in because of the law of attraction. As a child, I was already deposited into the law of attraction. I was already deposited in believing that money will come into me. And I call money out right now. I call it money, money, money. Come to me right now in the blood of Yeshua, Yahshua, Mashiach. And I believe that it's going to come. I have many more testimonies, and I mean it's grand, in the power of Yeshua, Yahshua, Mashiach. Hallelujah. And I tell you, one time I was at home and I needed money and I and I needed some money and and I tell you and and this person called me and they said I'm going to give you the money. I asked for money and I said, "Lord, I need this money." And next thing I know, they came to the church and they turned around and they was talking to one of the mothers inside of the church and said that they was laying on their on their bed. And they said that the Holy Spirit came to them, a holy angel came to them and stood over them. They said they were so fearful. And the Holy Spirit told them, say, give it to her because she is the one that carried LLC on her. Now, even now, we have initials in the heavens. It said LLC. So what LLC means here on the earth, it means something even greater in the heavens. But it said LLC is on her. Give her that. Her initials is the LLC. Give her that money. Give her that money. These was the exact words. Give her that money. Give her, go to her and give her that $700 and plus buy her her robe. This is what was said. And this person went and he turned around and purchased that. And that was the power of the Yah Yahweh through the power of Yeshua, Yahshua, Mashiach. But he had a visitation. So sometimes when people come and do things, they deposit things. But if you come in with doubt and regret, the law of attraction is going to push you right to the negative side. Because now you don't move from the positive. So that means it cannot activate to bring increase. So the negative side means that's the side where now... Everything went to sleep. Everything is now what? Into a order of what? Now is not pushing into the life force of positivity. You see? So it has to be into the right force. So when you are not in the right force, positivity. So everybody talk about the law of attraction, but they don't understand. It is two sides of the law of attraction. It's the side of positivity and there's a side of negativity. And that's when you, you cannot be lukewarm with it. You cannot be in between it. Because that's when the Holy Spirit will tell you, say, I will spit you out of your, out of my mouth. That's when God said, I spit you out. You cannot be lukewarm with, 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 the law of attraction. You're going to believe or you're not going to believe. But if you believe, it's going to come right back to you. I mean, it's going to reward you because you became part of the what? The universal power of God Almighty using you as an instrument.